Hi everyone. We're gonna do her smooth threads to help really build collagen, build that elastin, and really help with this, some of this acne scarring that's um, happening on the jawline here. So we've already come up with a number of threads that we are going to use. So I'm just drawing my pattern here to see where we can get the best results. And again, I'm just drawing so that we can um, build that scaffolding back to the skin and um, really help improve that texture and of the skin. We're gonna do a few up here as well. And as you can see, there's really no rhyme or reason as far as my pattern, just kind of getting whatever best um, result that I think we're gonna be able to build that scaffolding back. I'm gonna lay her for completely flat. We have already topically numbed with just a topical lidocaine cream. And so it's a pretty comfortable procedure. And this is our, sec or our third treatment for this area. So the way the smooth threads work is they build collagen over a period of three to six months. And so you do at least one treatment every four to six weeks so that they can dissolve and build that structure back. So this is our third treatment. So for this area, we will just um, probably give it about a month break and see if we kind of have those threads all start to dissolve. And then we can decide if we want to continue on with treatment or if we've reached a period or a point where we are happy with. As you can see, I am just going right below the level of the skin. It kind of almost looks like a worm going underneath the skin. You don't want to be too deep in the fat layer of the tissue because that's where all of our vessels are. And so we really don't want to, we want to try and avoid any hematomas, bleeding, any bruising. And then we're going to twist all of these threads and apply some pressure. So the thread actually stays behind in the tissue and the needle portion comes out. And that thread is the same thread that they use in sutures for cardiac surgeries or surgeries in the hospital. And so you place them and then they dissolve over time. And what they found was that as the threads dissolved, it builds this collagen. It also, for the acne scarring, it helps to increase blood flow to the surface of the skin, which in turn, again, blood flow means healing. So it can really help with hyperpigmentation as well as this, these acne scars. And we are using the Twisted V-Soft threads here. There is a difference between the regular mono smooth threads as well as the Twisted. The twisted actually just give you a little bit more surface area of thread for the area. So you're gonna get more collagen, more elastin production for every thread that you place. And it's not like you have to follow the exact pattern that you previously drew out, but it just kind of gives you a nice guide And see how it just pops right into the underneath that skin there. So side effects of this procedure, one is just, of course, everything that we normally do, just any um, swelling, any bruising. But it's generally pretty well tolerated. And if they do get any bruising, it's generally just some like pinpoint bruising from the needle going in. As long as your proper depth is correct. And you can see it's a very quick procedure. It's a very lucrative procedure to incorporate into your practice.
One, because you topically numb for 10 minutes and it literally takes just a couple minutes to place these threads. But also, you're doing at least a treatment, three treatments every month, so it gets your patients back in the door and you can really just help do full face aesthetics by adding biostimulation as well as to your Botox and your filler. I'm just gonna place one more right up over here. So then once we've got all of our threads placed, I'm just gonna clean off all of our markings. How was it? Pretty tolerable? Yeah, that was good. Good. All right, so then go ahead and turn towards the other side. I'm just gonna wipe the numbing cream off here. All right, so after we wipe the numbing cream off, I always clean with alcohol. You just wanna be as clean and sterile as possible. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark this side of the face. So again, you can see all of this different pigmentation. We're gonna try and eliminate that. So again, we just marked our pattern where we feel like we could, we're gonna get the best collagen production or where we want the most collagen production. And again, we're targeting the acne scarring just on the lower jawline here. So these threads are also gonna help tighten the skin as well. So this may also help just really give her a nice crisp jawline. Not that she doesn't already have one, but it can really help make a difference in that regard too. All right, we're gonna just take all of those out and move to the next area. So if you're targeting acne scarring, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes to push through some of those heavier scar tissue areas. As well as just using the twisted, kind of give a little, take a little bit more oomph to get underneath the skin there. But once you're in the proper plane, they should kind of just glide real nicely. Just kind of push with the one finger and the biggest tip is just to pull that skin taut. All right, we have two left. As you probably noticed as well, our number of threads is not even per side. So we can kind of just alter our pattern and alter the number of threads that we use based off of the surface area we need to cover. Again, just pulling taut. And glides right nicely in there. All right, so we're just gonna get you cleaned up and you'll be on your way. Awesome.